Clovis woman is devastated after her cat is killed by a valley animal shelter. So what happened? We'll have a live report. Destroyed by a valley animal shelter. Action News reporter Allison Ash joins us live tonight at the Clovis shelter with more on the story. Allison? Well, it's a sad fact of life that stray pets are euthanized at shelters like this one all the time. But what makes this case different is that Rusty the cat was here less than 24 hours before she met an early death. Never. I, I never. Rusty's toys still fill the Whitaker house, and the wanted poster her family made this weekend can still be found in the Clovis neighborhood where the seven-month-old calico cat lived. But last weekend, Rusty wandered into a neighbor's yard. That neighbor trapped her and brought her here to the Clovis Animal Shelter. By Sunday, Cindy Whitaker learned her cherished pet had been killed. I'm really outraged that something like this could happen. I can't, I just can't even believe it. I do not want something like this to happen to someone else. It's, it's a horrible feeling. Whitaker says at first the people who run the Clovis shelter said Rusty was put down because she had a respiratory infection. Then she was told her cat's death was an accident. But Clovis police, who oversee the shelter, told us something different. We were calling it basically an unfortunate incident. This cat came to us with no tags, no microchip identification, and it appeared to be a feral animal. It was uh, attacking through the cage. It was posing a health safety threat. According to the Clovis Municipal Code, an impounded animal's life can be taken without delay if it poses a health or safety hazard. Whitaker insists her cat wasn't either. My cat was very friendly. Whitaker says she now worries about the other pets at the Clovis Animal Shelter, and she had this message for the shelter operators. Don't kill cats for no reason. That was someone's pet. That was someone loved that animal, and now she's gone. Now, Whitaker says the shelter has offered to replace her cat and also to compensate her for the cost of spaying and also for all of the cat's shots. She says no thanks. But she does say she's going to be meeting with a lawyer later on this week. And uh, just thought you should know, the Clovis Police Department tells us that last year alone, 1,869 cats wound up at the shelter. Of those, only 32 were reclaimed by their owners. 287 were adopted, but 1,550 had to be euthanized. Reporting live in Clovis, Allison Ash, ABC 30 Action News.